how to select diamond softness. They've got basically soft, medium, and hard diamonds. It's actually extra hard, extra, extra hard, extra, extra soft. I mean, it goes as far as eight extras when it comes to the soft. So if you see like eight S or S8, that means it's extra, 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 and eight times. Um, and those are really useful for hard concrete slabs. So it's actually just the opposite. You take soft bond, soft diamonds, soft bonding. Is that, the diamonds aren't really the soft part. It's the bonding that holds the diamonds together. So when you hear people say soft diamonds or soft bond or soft blue or soft uh, media, they're not talking about the diamond. All diamonds are hard. The hardest things that, that's out there. It's the, the, the glue that holds them together is going to be either hard or soft depending upon what the concrete's like. So the harder the concrete, the softer the blades need to be. The softer the concrete, the harder the blades need to be. And it's the opposite. And the logic to it is this. When you're, you've got a, a blade and you expand, like a diamond blade is like really small, it's like that big. But you make it really, really big, like super big. Then you've got like one diamond here, one diamond here, one diamond here. And there's actually gaps between each diamond. So think of a diamond as like, like take a think a saw, like a saw that's cutting wood, and it's cutting. Each time the diamond or the tip hits the wood, it's cutting. Likewise, each time one of those diamonds hits the concrete, it cuts. But it only cuts for a short amount of time because it gets knocked out. So the faster it gets to the next diamond, which is above it, the more aggressive it's going to be because that's what's doing the cutting. So the softer the media, the quicker the media goes away and exposes the next diamond. So you're, you're, you're actually exposing more diamonds more quickly with softer bond and you're exposing less diamond, doing it slower with harder bond. So if you need lots of diamonds, it's gonna be because you get really hard concrete. So, because hard concrete's gonna be harder to grind. So you're gonna need soft bond on hard concrete. If you get really soft concrete, then you don't wanna waste your diamonds. You don't need a lot. Um, I mean, some, some concrete, it's not very often, it's like trying to help you understand. Some concrete is so soft that you can use like, like those carbide chip tips, were like, which are weaker than diamond. Uh, my point is, you can even power wash <laughs> like really super soft concrete and gotten a profile. I've gotten like CSP twos and threes, like which is like the roughness of the concrete. Like a CSP one is concrete service pro. It's like like smooth. Two is rougher. Three is even rougher. Four or five, six is super rough. So you want your floor, your rough, your concrete to be as rough as the coating. So you get like a really rough surface that's great for like a thick coating. If you're just doing a really thin coating, you don't want it too rough because <laughs> you'll see the roughness, you know, you won't be able to level it out. Uh, my point is you can, you, can, you can get a rough profile and not spend a lot of money. Because when you use soft bond blades, you're exposing so much diamond, but you're wearing it away. I mean, if you're not, if you're not paying attention to what you're doing, you could go through a set of blades like in a garage. A set of blades is $100, $200. Like, like why would you want to waste that much money when you don't have to? So you need to select your blades according to how thick your, how hard your concrete is. So you got really soft concrete, you can use hard blades because that one diamond, it's gonna do the job. And you don't need to be exposing a lot of different diamonds. Um, and also, the hard media itself will actually help grind. Uh, that metal's tough. Now it's not gonna do, so it's gonna help with it. Um, so um, just remember opposites. Harder the concrete, the uh, softer the diamond needs to be. Now you can overcome that if you got expensive equipment. So the big expensive companies that do large square footage is they spend 20 grand, 100 grand on a, 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 a diamond grinder that weighs thousands of pounds so that they can use hard diamonds and still profile 
hard concrete. This saves them money in the long run. You're like, I mean, doing garage floors, it ain't worth, you're not going to save that much money. Um, you know, I wouldn't drop a hundred grand on a, you know, on a garage flooring business, you know, uh, diamond grinder. I mean, it'll have you had like, you, you can do the math and figure out, okay, can I save that much money in diamonds? But it will take you a while to get there. So you can start off just to start getting experience um, uh, and get your feet wet by just rinsing a floor buffer and getting one of those wheels that um, that you can attach really soft blades to. Like if you don't have a lot of weight um, and you put soft bond on like these wheels that you can, I'll send you, I'll, send, I'll, I'll put a link in, in here later or make a video on it. Um, where they make things something called like a diamond brush uh, which isn't very aggressive but if you got a lot of time it uh, will pr you can put that in a floor buffer and grind um, concrete but they make actually uh, wheels that you can put like extra 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 soft blades on a floor buffer and grind a profile just as well as a big heavy machine it will take you longer but just to get started, why not do that? Like, like I, I wouldn't drop 10 grand on a, a floor grinder unless you know that you've got the business coming in. I see people on these Facebook forums all the time, like selling brand new equipment. They just spent 20 grand on a trailer and a generator and a grinder and they did four garages and they're out. I say, man, dude. Like, you should have started small and not wasted all that money. Because, like, you don't need to... You need to make money now. Okay, and to make money now is... You need to spend as little amount of money as possible. Spend little at first and make money. And then save up money uh, later and get bigger equipment if you think you need to do it. So, you can use, like, these, like, really soft extra extra soft um, diamonds on floor buffers and uh, but you need to use the diamonds that only have like um, one bar on it so there's like so they got double bar and single bar diamonds they've got they've got button diamonds with the circles and they got double double button button diamonds and they've got all sorts of different shapes they've got stars um, so the bigger machines can use more buttons because they've got a lot of weight and that can afford to spread it out. So a lighter machine only needs one button. Like a lighter machine, you need as little surface area touching the concrete as possible to cut it. Because think of it this way. If I have, let's see if I can find a pin here. Okay, here's a pin. And I put all my weight on this pin and I drag it I got epoxy on my fingers. That's not fingernail polish. <laughs> so if I take a pen and I drag it into a surface, I'm going to cut it really easy because all that area, all that weight is going in that one, that one point. Now, if I got two pens and I put all my weight down, then, all, then, then both points only have half as much weight. So they're not going to cut as fast as if I have one. So if you got... Uh, like a floor buffer and you're starting out um, or a light machine like you know a not super duper heavy machine or you've got really hard concrete I mean some of these big five thousand ten thousand dollar machines still will cut faster on hard concrete with like one star one button one bar um, because it's less points of contact therefore more pressure on each point of contact so a floor buffer um, you need at least four uh, diamonds uh, you can't do three um, most uh, commercial machines require like sets of three or six so they get like a, a wheel and another wheel another wheel on a big grinder and each one holds like three or six so normally you buy um, diamonds and sets of three. So if someone says a set of diamonds, they, need th they mean three typically. Um, so I hope that helps you understand the softness 
uh, the soft bond, uh, hard bond, medium bond. You could always just, when you start off, just get a medium bond set and see how that works. If it doesn't work fast enough, then you know you need to uh, step up to a softer uh, diamond. And if it's uh, cutting away, but you don't get very far and <laughs> the blades are gone, then you know on that slab you need a harder bond so that you don't wear through it so quickly. Anyways, talk to you soon.